everybody. It is time for a plan with me. And okay, so I, I have had some conflicted feelings about this, but I am excited to share this with you. I don't know if many of you have seen the Villa Beautiful website, but I had an opportunity to collab with them and to build a pen. I won a giveaway and my design was chosen and it was originally structured under like Women's Empowerment Month. And so this pen is called Radiate and the idea for it came from Marie Curie or is it called Radiate or Radiation? Something like that. Radioactive. That's what it's called. <laughs> I should know the name of my own pen. This one is called Radioactive. And again, it is for Marie Curie. So she is a pioneer in STEM for women, especially in areas of like physics and radioactivity and stuff. So if you are a woman in STEM, or if you are interested in getting a pen like this that I designed, or that my design was chosen from, check out Villa Beautiful down below. I would also ask that you check out the Anne Frank organization down below and donate a, or make a donation to that organization as well alongside your purchase because that is an important organization to me and it definitely is something that I would like to support along with this release. All of that to say I'm so excited about this pen and you guys she's beautiful. Oh, this green and the black like it's gonna be really fun for Halloween time too like it's just it's really fun. So I'm excited about it and yeah so that was a really fun thing that I've been you know kind of hiding behind the scenes and all of that good stuff. So without further ado let's go ahead and really jump into the first week in my April planner and because I guess I'm now a florals person I'm gonna use teeny florals this time because why not? <laughs> I have these two sticker books are actually swag that were given to me at Go Wild which is super exciting. So these were at the table that I sat at and I haven't had a chance to use them yet and I've been seeing lots of folks pulling out their teeny florals and I'm inspired and so I'd like to do that too. So the first thing that I like to do as always is pull out a little something for up there. So let's start with that. Oh my gosh, so many pretty things, you guys. These little teeny florals, they're the cutest. Oh my gosh, why is everything that's tiny just adorable? <laughs> like why? I don't understand. Why is it so much cuter than regular size things? I don't get it. Okay, there are clear things that I could use, but I'm wondering if there are like coordinating washi stickers somewhere. These might be something that I wanna use. I will hold on to that and we'll see but I'm actually really hoping for a washi like this. Perfect. Okay. So then the question is which colors or color do I want to use? Hmm. This is going to kind of kick off the spread. So I'm thinking, hmm, I'm either, I'm kind of debating between this orangey one and then this one, this one I wouldn't have to cut at all. So I think I'm going to use that one because it can pull in a lot of different colors. I might actually have to cut it. It might be a little bit long, but that's okay. I think, well, maybe I don't. I had my little precision tool thing right here, but my desk is kind of messy, so I'm sure it is long gone, but it's around here somewhere. My kiddo came down to drop off a package for me down here, and <sighs> he may have gotten into my stuff. <laughs> That happens sometimes. That's why all of Mama's stuff lives down in the office, away from the little hands. Oh, that went on very crooked, and I do not like that. Hmm. But I also don't want to like wrinkle my paper. That is a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. Like when I have to pick up stickers and lay them down again, and then if paper gets wrinkled underneath, I kind of hate that. Let me know if you guys hate that too. Okay, this is not actually that thick. Hmm. Okay, well I found a washi cutter so that will probably work just the same. But it's like a little ballpoint looking pen kind of thing. Except it's not a pen. It is actually like a little exacto knife. It's been so nice to use in my planning. I think this is the signal that I needed to clean my office. <laughs> It's time, but Plan Halen at Go Wild actually gave us these little washi cutter things too. And if you don't follow Plan Halen, she is wonderful and amazing and all the things. So you should follow her and this will work just as well, if not better as the precision tool. Perfect, that worked nicely. And then I'm gonna put this right back here. Waste not, want not. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna try this one 
on top and I don't know if I'll have to cut it. I don't think so, but we'll kind of layer this a little bit just like this and then I'll tell you all about my day and everything that has transpired today because I don't know, man. Life has just not let up. I do not know what's going on. Okay, so that looks cute though. I do like that. So this day, today, on this here Saturday, I'm filming on a Saturday, I expected to, you know, wake up, have a normal day, chill, but instead I woke up, my body woke me up at like three in the morning or something like that. It was wild. And I had, okay, this is also TMI. And like, if you have a weak stomach, I suggest maybe like just double speeding this or something so that you can just hear me or something. But I'm going to talk about being sick and like stomach sick. And so if that like, I won't go into graphic detail because that's yucky, but I'm, I am going to talk about that. So trigger warning if anybody has like a weak stomach or anything like that. So anyway, I woke up, I was rudely awoken, awoken, awakened, awoken. <laughs> I don't know. I got woken up by this very rude sickness. I did not feel good, y'all. I was not feeling good. And like I had, my, I had burps that were yucky and it was like a whole thing. Okay, so I woke up and I was like, please just let me like, it'll be fine. Like I'll just drink some bubble water and I'll go back to bed. And I tried that. And then I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but anytime before I get sick, I get this feeling in my mouth. I have like way too much saliva and that started happening. I was like, oh no. And so at that moment I pre-ordered an order to Instacart of Alka-Seltzer, which for me is like my guaranteed cure for being stomach sick. And then I also ordered, what did I get? Oh, I got sugar-free blue Gatorade. For whatever reason, there's something in blue Gatorade. Usually I am like all about organic this, organic that, but blue Gatorade is like my go-to for stomach sickness. I don't know what it is about the blue kind, but it is definitely the blue one that always helps me. And then what else did I order? Oh, I also ordered kombucha because bubbles and all of that. So, and I think that was it. <laughs> the guy who dropped it off, he like messaged me afterwards and he's like, I hope you feel better. I'm sure you like tell exactly what I was ordering from and like why I had ordered those things. So that was really nice. So I spent most of the day being sick, not fun. And then, okay. So then actually I spent most of the night being sick. I should say not the day I spent most of the night being sick. And then I slept until about, Oh, I don't know, like 9am. And in my like fever state throughout the night, my video that I had been working on the night before <laughs> like was just not doing what it was supposed to do. It, I guess, duplicated copies and then it like didn't upload to YouTube like it was supposed to. And so it was like right on the dot before it actually uploaded at like seven. So I was like in and out of sleep, like getting sick and editing this video. And it was an entire mess. Like I have no idea how I made it through that night. I don't know. I just feverishly got that video done. And then this morning I was like, cool. I didn't film a video ahead. And Sundays are like a really good video day for me. Like you guys typically really like my Sunday plan with me's. And I was like, oh great. So now I'm not gonna be able to give them a Sunday plan with me. I was also supposed to have a planner party today with my patrons and I was just so sick. There was no way. I probably could have like, like, faked it, but I don't ever want to be that with you guys, especially my patrons. So I did not do that and I felt terrible about it. And so we have that rescheduled for next week. So if the shameless self-promotion, if you would like to join us for the planner party, it'll be like on a Google meets and we'll all bring our planners and chill and hang out and we'll be talking. And that's for my $10 and above patrons. And that is linked down below as always. I was sick just gross and sick. And it was all, it was all bad. It was terrible. It was absolutely awful. And so then finally around like 10 AM, I started to feel better, like as far as being able to be upright and maybe thinking that I wanted to eat something. But also, I don't know if you guys uh, like are familiar, but I'm sure you are. Anybody who's been sick probably understands this, but I just felt like I don't, I describe it as like flu hangover or like just that feeling where 
you can't quite get back on track and like your head is kind of daisy or daisy you're like in a daze a little bit and then you just are very weak and everything like your body just needs to rest afterwards and like recuperate but I definitely think that it was something that I ate I do think that I over trusted some leftovers I should not ever do that because I was the only one who ate them and then nobody else in my house got sick so at least not to my knowledge at this point that was my day today and it was definitely not fun it was I still feel kind of like ugh, gross and queasy and stuff but I will just have to power through this I, I went ahead and put like a lot of the decor on here already so there's that but yeah I did not feel good at all okay and then the next okay so I'm just thinking in my head and kind of out loud here the next week after this is Easter Sunday I believe yes because the 17th okay so we have busy things happening on those two days so let me add some boxes to my focus on section and again I like to use this section down here as like my preview for next week so I do like to do that but how are you guys doing I feel like I have not asked you how you all are in quite some time I hope you all are well thank you for always continuing to watch my videos I see little sweet comments coming through and, and that kind of thing and then I see some discussions happening about my videos happening in some of the Facebook groups which are really sweet so I appreciate you all so please know that I see all of those comments and and that anytime I do see something like that it just makes my heart so happy okay so I'm gonna put this one here and these are monthly boxes that I think that they'll work well for what I need them to do. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna use this red one. Oh, hey, teeny florals. And we will, let's see, cover this up a little bit. And then I think maybe I'll put a quote down there or something like that. And okay, so both of these are celebrate days. So one of them is celebrating Easter at my parents and that kind of thing. And so, We'll be doing that on Saturday the 16th next week and then so then that means this week I need to get with the Easter Bunny and finalize all of that if you know what I mean. So I need to do that part. Okay so then while I was sick today Brian was an absolute rock star and like took Harrison and like had him out playing with the kids and today was also like our neighborhood cleanup so we were planting our neighborhood garden and or supposed to I didn't get a chance to do that because I was stupid sick and but it did turn out really nice and Brian took Harrison and they got that done and Delilah had stayed the night with my folks but she biked back and like helped out and took all of our stuff because we also rent as a neighborhood like a huge trash bin we were able to do that which was pretty cool and yeah that worked out really nicely so that was good and the stuff that I wanted to get done I couldn't do but it was really nice to have you know people around me who love and support me as always you know just there so that was good so yeah Delilah came back and did those things and was super helpful and then again Brian was like off the chain supportive helpful as he should be and he like rocked today and like you know was with Harrison all day and you know they had a lot of fun and then okay so I actually ended up rallying a little bit so I ended up feeling a bit better towards the like late evening afternoon time so like around 6 p.m and our neighbors we have a bunch of neighbors that have kids the same age as we do and so they were all out and we kind of have these we call them safety sams that we put out in the middle of the street and the adults are watching for cars and that kind of thing and so we were all outside and a huge fire broke out you guys over the freeway so our the way that where our neighborhood is is that there's like a freeway overpass that you can see from my house basically and so we saw this like plume of smoke and we're like is that in the neighborhood and like everybody was going to investigate and that kind of thing and we discovered that it was down by the freeway and unfortunately it was um a camp of houseless folks so um, that always is really heartbreaking because you know it's it's important to think about the privilege of having a home that's like up to code and you know um is is really safe from fires but when you're just trying to stay warm you know and plus if you have anything else going on like there's just that it just makes me really sad when that stuff happens so that was just it was just not great for them and so 
we saw that happen and then um a bunch of folks got rerouted through our neighborhood and <laughs> the kids had decided before that that they wanted to do a little <laughs> they wanted to do a lemonade stand they had decided this before any of this happened and it was like totally coincidence that it all worked out the way that it did so the kids were doing their little lemonade stand and the traffic ends up getting rerouted through our neighborhood so there were tons and tons of cars usually like during rush hour there are some cars that come through that's just you know we live on outside of a busy street so we're kind of like a little circle neighborhood but then right outside of our neighborhood is a pretty busy street and so that's it happens it just is what it is so yeah that was that was happening but because there was so much traffic coming through the neighborhood, the kids made a killing on their lemonade stand sales. It was so stinking adorable. They were all so excited. One of them was holding up like a little sign and then they all decided to split the money four ways so that everybody would get a little bit of the money. It was so nice. They ended up making $62 and, and we were out there for less than an hour. It was it was so cool so and it was so nice to see because a lot of folks who were driving through you could like feel that they were getting frustrated you know because they were in traffic and then they had to get rerouted and then this whole thing happened and they were just trying to get home from work but then when they saw the kids <laughs> like sitting there doing their cute little <laughs> their cute little stuff oh my gosh the smiles that people gave us and some people were just like throwing money at the kids and they were like here I don't think I want any lemonade but here's some money like it was just so it was like one of the most wholesome like <laughs> kind things that I've seen in a really long time so yeah that was really nice and it was a really it was just like a feel-good moment it was really nice to end the day that way after such a uh, such a day that I had <laughs> so that was nice and then what else oh tomorrow I think I'm going to go visit my grandmother she is just right up the street and she's been asking to see the kids and you know she's getting older and so I just want to make sure that we spend enough time with her and that kind of thing um, and that both kids have good memories of her just you know just to, in case and then just you know spending time with family is always nice okay so really the only thing that I think I have on my calendar for this week is on the 6th is Delilah has art I don't think I have anything else going on um, it's going to depend on how I feel, but Monday I might take the day off work just because I am still feeling a little bit queasy and I do have time that I can take. So Monday I might take the day off, but I'm not sure yet. And then I don't think there's anything else that I can think of. Okay. Let me just double check my calendar here. <laughs> so this might end up being a shorter video y'all. Yeah, it looks like that is everything so far. I'm sure things, well, I have podcast recording with Leanne tentatively for Saturday, but we've been moving it to Sunday. So actually, I think I'm going to put that in here on Sunday too, just to have it in here. And yeah, so there is that. Um, mm, mm, and I'm going to use this little box. This sticker book is really nice too, because it's got a lot of like decorative stuff but it's also got like a bunch of functional things, which is really nice. I think, hmm, I think I'm actually going to, I was gonna say I'm gonna put a box in every day, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think, okay, so there are those. There are these little guys, the plan stickers. There are those little circles. There's a to-do. There are ideas. Okay, I think I am going to put on Monday this sticker and I'm going to label it focus on so that I have a good direction for the week. And the big things that I want to focus on this week are applying for jobs for next year. And then I have a couple that I need to follow up on. And so I want to make sure that I have those things on the forefront of my mind and all of that good stuff. So focusing on stuff is good and then I think I also want to include 
my camera every time. I never catch it. And I've been watching these last few minutes to see when it was going to turn off. Okay, so I have just a couple of things to write in here. And then I will be back with you all to show you the finished product. So let's go ahead and do that. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Down, singing louder than the crowd. going to be the spread with pen and all of that good stuff. So thanks so much for being here, you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for doing all of the things. If you are new here, hello, my name is Caitlin and I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button down below. Also, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And if you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching the entire video and for watching through the ads. That helps me out so, so much. And then if you would like to find me anywhere else and have any other free content from me, you can definitely check me out over on Instagram at creating in chaos underscore official. I do lots of stuff over there that I don't always do over here. So make sure that you are following me there as well. And then you can also find me on the podcast at Spice Chaos Podcast, wherever your favorite podcast is served. So that means like Anchor and Apple Music and Google Play and Spotify, all of your favorite places you can find us there. And I am chatting with my bestie without Spice Plans with Leanne every Monday over there. So you can find me there. And then if you would like to join us for any other fun things like live shop with me or live planner parties, or if you'd like me to share fun posts of yours in your Instagram account that I love or share your birthday and wish you a happy birthday or meet with you about your social media or plan for you in my planner and then send you that spread or in any of the planners that I have laying around here, let me know or go ahead and sign up for my Patreon linked down below. That does help me out so, so much and it is a really nice tight-knit community. I am working on ways that everyone in that community can access each other. So that will be a lot of fun as well. So I hope that you guys are enjoying my Patreon, those of you who are members, and feel free to take a look at that. Again, that is by no means required. I am just grateful for all of your support here as well. Even just watching a video or commenting or interacting means the entire world to me, and it's honestly so helpful as I continue to build my channel, as well as to um, continue connecting with you all, because that's really what everything is about, is connecting with you guys and that kind of thing. So I hope that you all have a fantastic day. If you are shopping the Happy Planner or any of the other brands that I have affiliate links for, please go ahead and use my affiliate link that is linked down in the description box below. And by the way, you guys, have fun today.